Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. Today we're gonna to be doing something fun, something that's very popular in the photo manipulation world and that is making a giant, a giant. Taking a regular picture of a person and make them look huge. And uh, we've got a couple pictures here, this picture right here of the skyscraper and then also this picture of this man leaning up against a wall. Both of these images were taken off unsplash.com so you could go there and download these or you can use any other pictures that you find appropriate. This is gonna be a pretty short tutorial and uh, so I'm just gonna give you the basic ideas on how to do this. I do have many more in-depth tutorials on my Gumroad account uh, that are several hours long and uh, I'll include a link in the description below if you want to check those out. But those are multiple hours long. All the PSDs and the stock images are included and I go in a lot more detail on how to do things like this. But for today, this is going to be a quick uh, tip on how to do uh, this type of manipulation. So the first thing we want to do is take our image right here of this man. He is leaning up against a, uh, a stone wall here, and that stone wall is going to be this uh, skyscraper. So I'm going to make him slightly invisible, change my opacity down. And essentially, I'm, all I'm going to do is try to figure out where he needs to be. And so I want to kind of zoom in a little bit and make sure that the wall that he's leaning on matches as best as I can with the wall that is uh, of the side of the skyscraper. So something kind of like that. Also, you want to make sure where his feet's going to be, that they would actually be on the road. You wouldn't want to do it way down here because it would make no sense. But if he was standing on the sidewalk or standing on the street, uh, then that's about, about right in there is where he would be. Click your check mark when you're happy with that, and let's uh, see how that looks. That's about where he would need to go. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just uh, cut him out of the scene. So just get a quick select tool. Typically, I would take a pen tool and get a really nice uh, selection here, but I'm just going to do the, a very quick, quick select tool. Uh, so right over here, your quick selection tool and just paint over your model. And uh, what he's what this is going to do is select out where Photoshop thinks the edges should be. Of course, they're not perfect. So there's some little spots in here that you're going to have to clean up. And uh, you can use this using the lasso tool or the pen tool or any other tool that you think would work out for here. Uh, but essentially, I'm just doing a very quick selection to make sure that he is cut out of the scene. And then what we'll do is we will composite him into the city scene. Okay, once you have him selected, what you want to do is just hit your layer mask button. And now he is uh, cut out from the his background and he's placed on this background. So a couple quick little things that we noticed going on that's kind of messed up is that his knee is... Um, and his leg is is not interacting with the building in the way that we should. So we kind of got to figure out where things are going. Uh, this building right here in the background, this would be further behind him. So we don't want to cut out that. So you don't want to cut out, uh, you don't want to cut out like his leg right here, you know, and put that, that building right there. You don't want to do that because that building is much further away. However, when we have this one right here, when we have this, uh, these buildings right here, we do need to cut these out. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut these buildings out right here. I'm just using a brush tool, but you can use any type of uh, selection technique that you want to do. So something kind of like that. And actually, that's going to go right there. Okay, so that's good right there. Now his feet are kind of interacting with those buildings. They're kind of tucked in between them, and that's what we wanted. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we need to make sure that shadow looks accurate. So let's take a, a, a look back at that original image uh, that you can see his shadow is behind uh, his back here, and it's kind of, uh, it's right here at his shoulder blade and his upper back and maybe a little bit uh, on his lower back as well, and then also on the shoe. Those are all casting these these shadows behind him. So we need to have that going on to the city below. So I'm just gonna make a new layer on top of our city, change it to multiply, get a nice little gray color here. And I'm just gonna kind of paint the shadows pretty much the same way I saw them in the original image. Nice and dark right up here at the shoulder blades. And then when we get closer to the uh, the lower back, it's a lot smaller of a shadow. And then, of course, 
near the shoe as well. And so I'm just painting really quickly. I would spend more time, uh, if this, if I was doing this project on my own, I would spend more time on this shadow. But essentially, you want to kind of copy uh, that shadow that we saw earlier uh, in his original picture. But something kind of like that looks all right. Just like that. I think that looks fine. Now what we're going to do is uh, just a couple more little um, adjustments to this picture to make it just a little bit more believable um, and uh, make it look like it, it blends a little bit better. So I'm going to make the model a little bit darker. So I'm going to bring in some, some mid-tones here on our model, kind of like that. But I'm going to invert that, and I'm only going to put those hard shadows right on his back, if that makes sense. So I'm just kind of putting those dark shadows like on the back of his uh, shoe, the back of his shirt, maybe part of his legs, just kind of like that. I'm just creating a little bit more contrast uh, behind him where the sun is uh, not hitting quite as much, kind of like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select this building out. So I'm just gonna do a quick select tool. Actually, let me just quick select tool the sky and then invert it. There we go. Now I have the uh, the building is selected, and I'm going to change um, uh, the darkness of this other side of the building. So this this building right here is actually going to be a lot darker. This back side of the building, because the sun is over to the the left where the guy is standing, and so I want to make the this building a lot darker. So change that to multiply, like that. Just changing some some shadows here and then what I want to do for this actual layer is I want to cut out this part of the building so what I'm doing is I'm making the right side of the building darker kind of like adding a shadow uh, to where uh, I think it would make the most sense again I would spend a lot more time on this on my own but something kind of like that. Okay, and then just erase that. Okay, there you go. So you can see what I've done here is I've just made that back part of the shadow, back part of the uh, the building in the shadow, kind of like that. And I think it makes it matches the light a little bit better because what we're doing is we're saying that uh, since we're looking at this original picture, you see where the sun is at. The sun is on the left, and so if we're gonna say that, if we're gonna say that the sun is on the left, we need to make sure these buildings. Um, have the same uh, shadow, the same light uh, set up as well. And I'm going to just add a little bit of yellow sun right here, change that to screen. And I'm going to paint out this building right here. And guys, that's pretty much all I've got for today. This is a quick tutorial. I think we're at eight minutes or something like that. This is, uh, I would spend about an hour or two making this look as realistic as possible. Uh, but that is the basic uh, concept of how I would do this. I would uh, make sure that the the model is uh, in the same kind of uh, perspective as this building, then line the building up, line the uh, the model up with the building, put those shadows on the building in the same way that you saw on the uh, the original picture, and then just make sure your light matches up as good as you can. If the light is on the left, you need to have shadows on the right, etc. Um, so th this is not a perfect background because you can see that the sunset is uh, on a different angle for, for the actual city picture. Uh, so I'm kind of forcing it to make it work as, as best as I can. Uh, but something like these, these are fun pictures to do. Go out and take a picture of yourself or your friends uh, leaning up against something, then go take a picture of a city building, and then you can combine them together and have a lot of fun with it. Uh, but guys, that's all I've got for today. Hope that you enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you again tomorrow morning for a brand new Photoshop tutorial. Thanks, guys.